Hello everybody, welcome back. A long time no vlog on the iPhone. I just thought I'd just do some iPhone vlogs so I've left my camera in Scotland because I am down back over here to visit my family for the first time since I've like officially moved there. So by now you would have watched the update video, you would have seen the situation. It kind of sucks, I know. But let's not focus on that. Let's focus on the fact that I've got my car keys. I'm gonna be driving for the first time in weeks and I'm so excited. Just now I'm about to go to a like charity event which my mum and her friends volunteer for. It's a tea room and they donate money every month to any like local charity which is really lovely. So I'll vlog a little bit of that. I won't be logging in there but I'll just show you guys some bits and bobs. Oh my god, you guys look, this car is so great. It's got stuff from when I was moving out and my classroom. So I've got like, my duster, my Harry Potter books. And then it's just filled with boxes and bags and folders. This car needs a really good clean. And sadly, at the end of this trip here, I will be asking my dad to sell it for me. But it's okay because inshallah we're planning to get our own little car in Dundee. And um, I'm going to be insured on that. So that I just have the, you know, ability to be able to go where I want without relying on people. I'm going to talk about that in this vlog as well. First things first. I need to check these wheels. Oh my god, you guys, I just found loads of makeup in here. Oh my god, I'm so Face has been spritz. I just went in, said salam to everyone. They actually, um, they don't have that much to do really. Like there's a lot of volunteers in mashallah. And they've had a few new people come in now, but I think I'm just gonna park up here and then walk to the city center and try and go to Boots. Because as you know, there have been some very exciting foundation launches recently. And I was just saying on Instagram this morning, I actually did a poll and asked you guys like which one you'd want to see a video on, Fenty or ABH. And 75% of you said Fenty and 25% said ABH. <laughs> so I've actually ordered the ABH one already and I'm going to hopefully try and get a couple of samples today of the Fenty. We'll see what they're like at this counter. Like every counter is different, but from what I've heard, Fenty counters tend to be like quite good. Especially now that they're open in boots and they're not like, they're not as exclusive when they're only in Harvey Nichols. I remember when the first foundation came out, I went all the way to London with my friends and we literally queued for ages just to get our hands on some of the products so that was like that seems like an age ago now but um yeah i'm gonna go there now and see see what i think if there's no one there i'm just gonna have to try and figure out my shade myself so fingers crossed God, as if they've opened a typo in this shopping center. I'm so sad. I opened it just as I left. I'm so annoyed. This is an amazing Australian stationery brand, guys. How cute is this pizza plate? I'm getting this for Paymon because everyone who knows Paymon knows he loves his pizza. Okay guys, so on the right it's 290 and on the left it's 255. I originally thought I was 255 when I picked up a sample in Stratford, but um, when I tried it on it looked a little bit too orangey and just based on like the swatch you can see that it is. So I'm gonna go for 290 I think. Let me just blend this out and see how it looks. That's what the swatches are looking blended out. Yeah. 255 is definitely too orange tone for me. Um, and 290 is looking good. I swatched 260 as well, but it was too neutral in tone, so looking at the best one. I'm also quite interested in looking at the setting powders. I got them here. This counter is so nice and empty, like literally, there's no one here. It's so nice. <laughs> I did also pick up their bronzer recently. I got the shade Island Ting. It's a little bit too warm, as you could have gone with um, this one, the John Girl, I think. Because this one's looking a bit more red, as you can see. 
that uh, it does work, it works okay. Hey guys, I'm absolutely buzzing because I just got myself a new friends dehydrating foundation for free using my boots points. I literally had like 26 pounds, like 95, and then I was like, oh my god, how much do I have to spend to like get to 27 pounds? She was like, just go like spend two pounds real quick. So I was like, okay, that's fine because I am not paying for this foundation and getting it for free with my boots points. It's the best thing to do. Like when they have those um, deals on where you spend 50 pounds and then you get 10 pounds off of points. It's worth like softly of what you need to, and then you can spend it on something that you want. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this and be excited that I've got my new foundation, which is actually like way smaller than it looks on mine, by the way. Hello everyone, it is Sunday. It's the night in the home today, and we are fasting. Welcome everyone, I really really pray that I'm in focus. I'm running a bit late today, it's Tuesday, the last two days um, me and mum were fasting and I just didn't vlog, but today I've actually got plans, I'm actually leaving the house and I'm going to be wearing the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation for the first time. The tube looks a lot smaller than it seems to be online for some reason, but then I'm pretty sure it has a standard amount of foundation inside it as well though, that's a weird thing. Yeah, it actually has more than your regular. It's 32 milliliters in here. You usually get about 30. I'm going to a new Greek restaurant today to meet up with Emma, who you might remember from previous videos. Not that she's ever been on my videos, but I will leave her links down below. She is on social media. She's amazing. She is so good at what she does. She's so creative. I did obviously call it right. I was, did not wake up with orange around my under eyes and around my mouth. And yeah, I'm just blending this out with a damp Givenchy beauty sponge. It looks very yellow when you first apply it, but then when you start blending it out, it kind of uh, it looks a bit more normal, a bit less Simpson-y, which is always a good thing. Okay, colour match wise, I think it is perfect for my skin tone actually. It's a really, really nice colour. It's maybe a tiny bit more olive than I usually go for, but I'm not complaining. It's definitely really a nice shade. I'm starving, you guys. Like yesterday, I was still fasting, the day before that, I was fasting. And honestly, when you are not working and you're fasting and you can wake up at whatever time you want, fasting is super, super easy. It's really not that difficult. All right, I just did my brows and set my under eyes properly. I'm gonna go in with my Hourglass palette, and I always say, unfortunately, this is discontinued, but you can still buy the shades separately, so I'm gonna put the shades down below. I love their bronzer. It's such a, like, natural wash of color, but although the Hourglass powders in general are quite finely milled and light and they're baked formula, it still has a very, very decent color payoff, which I like. But anyway, yeah, so yesterday, um, like I said, I was fasting, and I'm really like now, as of the 10th of September, which is today, I'm really, really, really determined to get on top of my health and fitness and my weight loss. Um, obviously, I'd already joined the gym back in Dundee and I'm going to that and I've been going to that semi-regularly, but I decided that I needed a bit more kind of support with that. Um, not necessarily from like a personal trainer, although I do think that it is sometimes worth investing in a personal trainer if you can because they really know what they're talking about and they can target your body specifically. But for me, I just wanted to find like a really, really good app or a system. And I'm going to actually be filming a kind of, not workout routine, no, I'm not going to be doing that, but like a fitness journey video. So I will save that till then. I'm not going to go into it now. So I know not everybody is interested, but if you are interested, then definitely keep an eye out for that. And this is just Huda Beauty and Bombshell, which is running out now. 
I've actually got through a whole pretty lipstick. It's a mini size, but still, <laughs> for someone who owns so many different colours, that's saying something. Also, what came in a post today was my brand new phone case, which is exciting. As I get all my phone cases and all my screen protectors from eBay. Look how pretty this is. I did kind of want a clear case because my iPhone is um, like the rose gold and it's so beautiful, but I just thought, let me just go with this instead. And it's come with a screen protector too. Oh, and it's glass. That's a nice surprise. So I'll be able to change it later on. How gorgeous is this phone case? I will link it down below if any of you are interested. And by the way, this mirror I'm using is from Zoeva. It's really cool for traveling. It's so handy. It's quite lightweight as well. There you go. So you guys, I just finished having lunch with Emma and I went to her house. My childhood best friend has her own house. I'm so proud of her. And I was so lucky because it just so happens that her parents are there today as well. So I got to see them again after ages. And I'm just feeling so happy right now. It's so rare to meet like such genuinely lovely people who have like such genuinely nice intentions. Wow, my English is really bad today, but I'm just, over the moon i'm so happy to have met her to meet up with her and to see her parents as well and now i'm gonna go home and i think i'm gonna try and film my first instagram tv video um on my phone which i'm a bit worried about it's hard obviously film filming on your phone because you can't see what you look like if you're trying to use a back camera the iphone xs camera is really good but obviously like i don't have um, a monitor or anything to check that it's all okay so we're gonna see how it goes basically um that's why I can't wait for my tripod to arrive. Hey guys, so I've just finished my second workout on the Nike Training Club app. I'm absolutely sweating. There's a reason why you're not seeing my face. Nobody needs to see my face like this. I am bright red. I literally, I'm sweating like all over my face, which is crazy because I've not sweated like that. I don't think ever. And if I have, it's not been a very, very long time. And although it was tough, and although I skipped out on um, certain exercises, <coughs> bare piece, <coughs> um, I kind of went at my pace as much as I could and I pushed myself as much as I could but um, I couldn't do everything perfectly, but that's not what it's about. It's about just turning up, showing up, putting your gym clothes on, getting the yoga mat out and just going for it. And already like it's been about five minutes and I can just feel the, the positive effects of, in my body. I can feel those endorphins being released. And yeah, I'm just so happy that I've started this journey, guys. I really, I needed a bit of a push and I'm glad I've gone for it now and it's only up from here and I feel like by documenting it with you guys it's going to hold me accountable so we have got this ladies everyone I hope you can see me well I hope the lighting's okay um I just had a lovely catch up with Paymon and Casey and it was so nice and it was such a like much needed to catch up after so long like last time I saw them was on my birthday that we actually didn't take any photos we didn't I didn't even take a photo of my drink or anything because it just had so much to say and it was really lovely to see them and now I'm about to go to the dry cleaners because Gara left his jackets there months ago and they're not cold or anything which is really weird so fingers crossed that they still have the jackets there but today is also the third workout of my Nike training club today we're going for a run and because me and mum are in the same club we're in the lean club um, program we are going to do it together so we're going to 
choose one of the beautiful lakes here and run around the lake and then I'm gonna see Anna so it's been a really really lovely sociable day today and then um, this weekend I think it's gonna be quite a family orientated weekend seeing the family and stuff inshallah and then on Monday I'm going back to Scotland so I'm really really excited to see Volcanic I'm not gonna lie I've been missing him a lot when you've been like with someone every day for like eight months it's just quite weird to spend like a whole week apart but um yeah you know absence makes the heart grow fonder and all that <laughs> so i better go now i better stop nattering and try and get myself to the dry cleaners okay that was successful i'm so glad that they still had um his jackets because he bought them in february he brought them into a dry clean and like it's september now um <laughs> But the guy who owns that place is my uncle's friend. So he didn't recognize me at first, and he's like, Oh my god, no way. And your son says, Daughter, I can't believe it, mashallah. He's like, You're married now. How old are you? No way. <laughs> you know how it is like when you see like your um, family's old friends and stuff. I'm trying to pull out of here is a nightmare, man get changed and put my trainers on and then we are going to go for our run. Assalamualaikum everyone, it is Sunday. I'm off to have dinner. We're Continue on B4 for friends. three quarters of a have to have a nice little cheeky Nando's. There's no hole on Nando's where my husband lives, my husband's family lives. So yeah, gonna have a nice little hot Nando's, a nice little catch up. And sadly, this is the last time I'm ever gonna be driving this car. My baby, this is my second ever car. I love this car. I love a Toyota Yaris. They're the most reliable cars ever. I've only ever owned Toyota Yaris's. My dad sold it today. He sold it. Obviously, I'm happy he sold it. Like with that money, I shall be buying a brand new lens, probably. Um, but yeah, it just it's just bittersweet, isn't it? Because so many memories in this car. This is like the car that I've used for my work. I remember doing loads of wedding planning within this car, literally on the phone to different vendors and stuff. But now. It's time to let it go. I was really productive yesterday. I carried on going with my vlog, my editing, sorry. I started editing the four different videos. I've got, I started editing my update video, which made me a little bit, first I was feeling a bit emotional, like, oh my gosh, because I had to put in the clip of my original video. I had to kind of watch back that video and just seeing like the excitement and the happiness in my face. And I genuinely believe that everything happens for a reason and actually us not going yet has been like for the best because there's so many things that wouldn't have happened if we had gone so it's been it's you know it is a blessing you guys if anyone knows where i can get a real gold ring that's in this style then please let me know because i feel like that would just complete my um gold hand ring fingers so well and i love this ring but it's it's like a, just a statement jewelry ring and it's gonna go black if i wear it all the time um, this ring in the middle is a solid gold ring that my mom and dad got me when I got married and then this gold ring I will link down below it's from Etsy and it's it is real gold it's obviously very very thin very delicate it's made out of gold fill so it's like super 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 strong compared to gold plated and I've decided I'm only gonna buy like really high quality jewelry now and then actually wear it rather than buy it unless I see something really gorgeous that I love um, so yeah, I'm really looking for like a bar ring like this that's in real gold because I just think it looks so nice. Anyway, my outfit today, I'm wearing these wide leg trousers from Primark. I think I might have showed them in a haul previously or a vlog. And then I'm wearing this like also like loose flowy top from Primark as well. 
so you guys can see I'm wearing a cape this one is from Shein I was wearing it in my like December vlog where we went to VNA after we got married and it's just very fancy it's a little bit too fancy Fernando's to be honest with you but I'm also going to like see some family as well after we have eaten so yeah I would do and mix and match go now and try and grab us a table because it's Sunday and they tend to be like really busy because we have four or five Nando's here but this is like the only one that's halal so like you get all the Muslims in this one so yeah there I go <laughs>